right, so welcome to Transformation Tuesday. And I have Christina here. And today we're going to just talk about end of the year chaos. How many of you guys are feeling overwhelmed, stressed? Um, you know, let's raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So using essential oils has really changed my life in that aspect because I've been able to have these simple tools available uh, without leaving the house. Um, I just have to, you know, reach over to my, you know, handy little bag carriers that I have. They're kind of all over the house. I have oils, essential oils in the bathroom, essential oils in the bedroom, essential oils in the kitchen. And so today we are going to talk about, again, the um, end of the year seasons, demands. Um, we're just going to do cover a few essential oils to help manage our stress and, and anxiety. And so let's talk first about common stressors that people face as the year wraps up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's a lot, right? I mean, um, a lot of people um, are worried about, <clears throat> you know, financial stressors with giving gifts around the holiday time, um, gathering with family, um, traveling, you know, there's just a lot going on, right? We all know what's what's up and, and we don't have to identify everything. Um, but there, that is the reality. And so we are here to give you some um, tips and uh, ways to help guide you through. And hopefully we can all do this in a, in a nice relaxing way and get to 2024, even through this Mercury retrograde craziness. <laughs> and <laughs> and one, one thing I want to stress um, before we dive into some essential oils is is um i i have been struggling believe it or not with with sleep and anxiety in my own journey and that um you know part of the root of this is just um you know i suffered a little head concussion and you know got re-injured a few times and although i bounced back fairly quickly there's um some residual things that that i've been feeling and it definitely you know things are not the same for me so number one i've been dealing with that reality of knowing that you know i have had to really change things around my routine um you know i'm looking closely at my diet um taking a break from, from alcohol, uh, really trying to take a break from caffeine. So it's important to really try to manage your stress. We all have it. Okay. We all, you know, life happens around us. And so what's important is how we handle stress and, and the essential oils help our bodies they're like adaptogens. They just help our body trying to stop from running from dinosaurs. So my, I've been having sleep studies, a couple sleep studies this year. And one of the sleep studies, um, you know, I fall asleep fairly quickly thanks to uh, the Serenity blend and the new Serenity stick. But I do have some underlying cortisol arousal spikes, which you know, makes me wake up and it makes me sleep lightly. So again, my quality of sleep, it's not, it's not bad. It's good, but it could be better. And because of that, you know, I have, you know, there's potential because I'm not, because I'm sleep deprived a little bit that maybe it's adding to my anxiety. Okay. So um, some of my friends that are listening to this, you know how, I love my friends, I love my social circles, but I have had to decline um, 
many social events to just go inwards. I've had to really focus on my healing. I get overwhelmed after, you know, about one to, you know, 60 minutes to 90 minutes of conversation in loud places or in public places in a restaurant. I feel like I get overwhelmed. So um, I, I feel everybody, you know, like if you're struggling with, again, you know, being around people and all that, I get that. So, and again, I'm grateful that I have these tools, you know, and different protocols. So I I am changing my protocol a little bit. I'm going to, you know, focus on my diet a little more and see if I could target what is causing those cortisol spikes in my, Mm. yeah, in my sleep study. So um, that is something that, yeah, that is something that, you know, I have to work on. And, you know, part of that is just being present and trying not to get lost in all of the social events and be around, you know, there are a lot of alcohol related events, you know, that gets overwhelming with me too. Um, Definitely, you know, being yeah. around people that have, you know, a little bit intoxicated, <laughs> you know, when I'm showing up sober, it's different, you know, it's a little different energy it for is. me, so. It is. It is. And that's the thing is like kind of when you're in that mindset, uh, like you said, it's it's hard to be with others who are obviously in a totally different mindset. And, um, you know, I think the best thing to do, which I I think others have experienced for themselves, is that at a certain point, um, you kind of just got to take a step back and not go to those events where it's present and so in your face and i think also as a society we should kind of not be so focused on um you know the pressure of drinking because uh there are so many people who are sober for so many different reasons and that's a huge thing is that one of the first things is asked is like you know are you having a drink and oh why not or you yeah. know well it's just this or, but it's like well that's exactly you know, my yeah. mind your business i have my reasons <laughs> but you know mm-hmm. what but the very cool thing i have noticed at the same time but um i do think that society does need to kind of get with it um is that there are a lot of like non-alcoholic spin-offs of these types of drinks so it's really cool yeah. how there's been a lot of companies who have recognized the need for people to still feel like included in that way. Um, but it's a non-alcoholic version of like gin or, or, you know, a flavor, yeah. um, you know, echoing familiar drinks, but yeah, it's, it's cool. So anyway, that's a great thing is that, um, that does add to anxiety and stress is, is exactly. when, um, you know, our chemistry is altered by things that we're consuming. And, and that's, that's some people do it on purpose and some people just have no control. And, but yeah, anyway, that's a whole different type of uh, conversation. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So anyway, back on to stress and um, how to help assist it. We wanted to talk about a couple oils and a couple different types of processes you could go through uh such as meditation i think teddy will talk about but our favorite oil that we wanted to share about is adaptive that's one of the newer blends and obviously as the name kind of connotates too it's like adapting to the situation so um it's it's great it has um all kinds of different um, oils in the blend such as wild orange lavender copaiba spearmint magnolia rosemary neroli and sweet gum so um do you want to talk a little bit about uh like let's see you're yeah that one there you go okay the so, clinical so yeah yeah so um i'm going to share my screen so doTERRA did a little clinical study and um so basically they coined these terms commonly associated with um, 
using these essential oils like calming, relaxing, uh, promoting uplifting feelings. And they found that clinical research regarding the ability of essential oils to adapt, it's quite limited at the moment. So in two, 2019, uh, at the Together Convention, doTERRA, Nicole Stevens, who's the Director of Oil Research and Formulation, she discussed how their team is changing that with, with this new blend. And so what they did was um, they did this clinical uh, research study. And then let me go ahead and pull that up so hopefully you can see that screen. So, okay, did the screen change to the yeah. clinical trial? Okay. Yes. So what they did was, um, so they did five, a little over 5,000 calming blend capsules. And that's this uh, adaptive blend is a supplement. So it's got the oils that she talked about earlier. And then it's along with a few other things in there called, um, there's, Scaletium, there it is. Scaletium, uh, GABA, ahi flower, uh, along with those essential oils. And there's a few other factors in there, co herbal cofactors in there. So they administered either 5,000 capsules or placebos. Um, and they did 79 participants in the study, and it took over 500 hours dedicated to designing and implementing this study. And they ended up collecting 632 surveys and after four weeks of data collection, and they collected over 10,000 data points. So when you put all that, you know, all those points in and you get your charts out and everything, um, they had spent, they had actually given compensation to these participants, they actually paid these participants um, a little over four, a little under four thousand dollars for this study is what they ended up um, ended up compensating the participants for the study, and so they found basically out, one of the largest uh, clinical studies that they've done at that point in time at DoTerra. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, and so basically they they told during the trial they were told that they would be testing a new doTERRA product and they had to first be um, a tester by taking the two assessments. And so they were put in two separate rooms, one where the adaptive was being diffused and the other where a placebo was being diffused. And to the horror of the participants, the assessments are a combination of math and word problems that progressed Mm -hmm. um, and, and increased in difficulty. So there were 15 questions uh, with a time limit of 12 minutes, a little bit of pressure. And then there was a countdown clock. <laughs> so I'd be like, hey! you know, projected mm -hmm. into the wall. So everybody's like, ah, test time, right? The worst. So um, yeah. they, would go, <laughs> they would go into the opposite room and take the other test. And then they also wore a pulse oximeter to monitor their heart rate and temperature and a temperature strip on the forehead to measure their autonomic response mm -hmm. to that stressful environment. Um, and then what did they find? So they found that those who were involved with the formulation of the adaptive blend, um, they, they found that uh, in reference to the test scores, none of which was very high considering the level of difficulty of the test. Many participants still scored higher when undertaking the test in the adaptive room. Also, with the adaptive diffusing, the heart rates were lower and more consistent. Um, more interesting were the subjective assessments. So the objective psychological markers of the stress, like the heart rate, blood pressure, et cetera. Um, but stress is also psychological. So if you feel less stressed, well, you are less stressed. And participants reported having lower levels of stress and anxious feelings when taking the assessment in the adaptive room, even though they had no idea what room they were in or what was being diffused. So they were also, there was also a small subset of participants who were taking part in the extended clinical trial involving the calming blend capsules. And those 
specific participants reported the lowest stress levels of all. Considering, considering these products were formulated to be used together, that possible synergy between the oil blend and the supplement was exactly what we were expecting and hoping to see. So I just, I, you know, along with that, I just, you know, again, have a personal testimonial. Um, you know, I've been started taking these one a day, usually in the morning. And I really feel like it just, you know, I'm more even keel, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I, it, it's been so easy for me to get down on things, you know, because I can't, I'm, you know, haven't been able to operate at a certain speed when it comes to activities that I like to play, like I like to play pickleball. I like to go surf. I like to golf. And I've been limited in playing those this last year because of, you know, my head trauma. And so I do have to say that this has kept me balanced. And even though I was diagnosed by the sleep study doctor that I have anxiety, I my friends are like, how do you have anxiety? You're the most, I've met other people with anxiety. You do not have anxiety. Like they're calling me out on it. And it's like, well, guess what? I, I'm calm, but I'm, I do have, I have a low level of it. I'm telling you it's, it's enough for me to show up in a sleep study that I have elevated cortisol levels. So put it that way. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, maybe I'm good on the outside, <laughs> but inside, mm -hmm. you know, inside I am battling with that you know, right. anxiety. So, um, so I really feel again, that these essential oils help to, you know, I don't want to say they mask, but they just help me respond better. I can respond in a calm manner, you know, be, and be rational than just reactive, you know, several years ago when I was, my kids were little and I didn't have essential oils, I was super reactive. You know, I had a few as a short, like, you know, it was a yeller, you know, just I had, you know, so it's very interesting how things, you know, my moods have definitely, you know, been more even heal using these essential oils as tools for the past several years. For sure. So, yeah. so yeah, so that, um, but yeah, we can about talk about it. like why the, the blend works and you know a little bit about each of the parts of the blend yeah, um you know because we, <clears throat> we all we all hopefully uh, well if you're new to us then <clears throat> excuse me then you would um need to know that we are essential emotions coaches so we do find the topic of the science of essential oils and the brain and emotions uh quite fascinating and uh have learned how to use that and um with the olfactory uh you know area and your body and just making sure that you can work through the emotions that we all get and that's just life but the thing is, is that you want to work through the emotions and have them pass through because otherwise they will settle somewhere in your body and make you um, not well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the uh, essential oil science behind adaptive, again, there's wild orange and that has a energizing but calming aroma. It has limonene. And so that is one of the um, oils that is part of the chemical constituents. So all of these things, we talk about essential oils as like an organic uh, chemistry type of way, but all you need to know is that it can be broken down into different little molecules. And those molecules are basically what helps the body in different ways. So limonene is one of the ones in wild orange that helps us um, have a positive and relaxed environment at the same time. Lavender has linalool um, and again calming and relaxing and can be used 
uh, topically or aromatically for uh, doTERRA, you can use it internally. Um, but it, it's a great one to help relieve occasional feelings of anxiousness and stress and help uh, promote that positive and restful environment. Copaiba is one of the newer ones that's out there, and it is an essential oil with the beta carophylline, which is um, basically a CBD, right? So um, the great thing about Copaiba is that it attaches to the CB2 receptors, which is some thing the receptors that do not um, give any psychological psychotic effects however it gives the same benefits um, and cb2 receptors are all over our body um, in all organs and all over the skin and it's just great so um, the spectrum of benefits is amazing and um, my my kid personally loves taking it internally and it does help with her feelings of um restlessness uh you could say um so mm -hmm. that's one of her favorites yeah spearmint another... is yep yeah. oh i was gonna say another side benefit away from the with copaiba because i put it up on the screen just mm. really quick is um, oh yeah another Another side benefit that's great is um, support for the cardiovascular health and digestive systems. So if you, and again, like our gut and digestion can be contributed to our emotional health and our brain health. So Absolutely. that's another, you know, side benefit um, that it helps with, again, digestion, cardiovascular, and just other things than just emotions and inflammation so mm -hmm. all right so go on about spearmint yeah yeah no uh copaib is almost like frankincense in that way where it's like so beneficial to like everything in the body but yeah um so moving on the next one in adaptive is spearmint it's a great one that has a monoterpene ketone car called carvone um but it's basically it's um really good with cleansing and it has an uplifting aroma that energizes the atmosphere magnolia has a great uh, concentration of the monoterpene alcohol linalool just like lavender they both have the linalool and um, it's really great in promoting that calm relaxing environment uh, rosemary is in it it's got a great chemical chemical composition with um one eight cyanol camphor and alpha pinene we know about alpha pinene and it's uh how it's got a monoterpene effect including um supporting that um uplifting alert feeling and just like opening up and uh yeah it's 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 a great one those alpha pinenes they're very good for feelings of stress stress and anxiety um and neroli is another one that's in there it's um actually from the citrus tree and it's another one good for uplifting feelings and then finally sweet gum which um is just you know a, a side one that has a combination of unique aromas that helps uplift and it's all these are beneficial to the skin in some way or another as well so it's great for emotional well-being all of those ones combined yes love love the smell of adaptive um yeah so there's so... actually a protocol that mm -hmm. if you do um have feelings of stress then um and you have your adaptive especially the adaptive capsules um one of the i always refer to books and and apps and because um you don't have to have a book you can have they often have app versions but the advanced oil magic recommends that um you do want to use the adaptive blend on your hands so that you can smell it right and then along the back of your spine 
that you saw me doing that earlier and again the adaptive complex because the adaptive blend you actually cannot ingest internally but we do have capsule versions that you can so make sure that you get those adaptive capsules our friend Fran is a huge fan of adaptive I know that so if you want to get another testimonial we can always talk to her balance of course during meditation we can talk about that in a moment teddy and then the serenity complex of course is very very good for assisting us in sleeping and of course we have the new revamped formula right now um so make sure you get on that it's got you know the um the the tart cherry and all the all the amazing goodness so it's great and the serenity stick is back by the way so what do we have to say about meditation teddy okay so meditation is it can be done by anybody and i like to use balance oil to help me shift into that state um you don't have to be a yogi um all you do is just you know take a drop of balance rub it in your hands breathe it in inhale it um you could put it on the bottom of your feet and then all you do is close your eyes, just try to make a space where that's quiet, that you're not going to have any distractions. And you could start off just by doing one minute. Now, if you focus on your breathing, if you could do six, six to seven breaths, that's going to be about a minute. So all you do is count seven breaths. And then eventually, I do six breaths because I can lengthen my breath. So I know that if I can breathe six times and count down six, five, four, three, two, one, before you, that's a minute. So as you move into, you know, counting a little more, um, eventually you could work up to five minutes. And I'm telling you that there's so many studies out there about the benefits of meditation. It can be done by anybody. You can, if you have a body <laughs> and a brain, <laughs> um, Grab your favorite oil. Again, mine is balance, and you could work on becoming a meditating person. It doesn't, you know, anybody can do it. Super easy. <laughs> I love that. Start with a mindful moment. Yeah. Yeah. So the last thing I think I wanted to share was um, if you are on Instagram, click on my story because I shared um, uh, our lovely Amanda from our, he, she's one of our essential emotions coaches and she shared three oils. Um, let's see, I might be able to share it on Zoom. Um, just, you know, so that way you guys, can you see it? And maybe I could play the sound, hopefully. Okay. Can you hear it? Um, Do you hear it, Christina? No. No? Okay. No. No, you're not hearing it on. Okay, let's but, start over. I mean, well, the closed captioning is there. Yeah. In the very least. So basically, Amanda, in this video, and it's in my story, too, if you're on Instagram. So she shares about three oils um, to help during grief and loss during the holiday season. Uh, one of them is black spruce, the oil of stability. It helps with grief and shock. Um, the other one is breathe the oil of the breath. And that is a beautiful blend for individuals struggling to breathe and literally feeling suffocated by sadness. So if that feels like, you know, you, and you can relate to that, um, you know, grab the breathe oil and then do you want to cover the last oil Christina, yeah, that she talks about? Yeah, console, the oil of consolation. It, it helps with, um, emotional pain. Um, or periods of extreme, extreme stress when your heart is burdened. And so what I like to do is actually literally put it on my heart. Um, and same with all these oils, actually. It's very good to put them right on your like chest area over your heart and do take a couple breaths. Um, and, you know, these things, even though in this particular reel she is talking about grief um which it, it's a reality that some people are definitely experiencing grief during this time of year and 
Um, and it's, it's okay that, yeah, it's okay to miss your loved ones and realize that loss happens. Right. So, um, but it's also like, some people grieve being with their with their family like it's just (laughs) there's different there's different things going on so what i'm trying to say is that um there's different stresses for everybody and these oils are good for just beyond grief um because they assist with just a little bit more than that so for example the breathe um when you go into situations when you do feel suffocated because that is um part of our emotional like that's that's one of the the block chakras right so when you sometimes you just feel this really heavy emotion and and this block upon your um, lungs and you cannot breathe so grabbing that bottle of breathe and really opening up your lungs and and your airways helps um, assist with getting through that period so same thing with the the black spruce in the console so reach out to your oils um, and if you want to take a picture and send it to us, we can help you um, through that as well and give you some tips on how to use what you've got to get through the holidays. Yes. Thank you. Because I'm not ready for it. all that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Neither. next Monday already is, is Christmas. It's Hanukkah has already been going. And like, woo. Yeah, That's, this year, this year has gone by. It's like, don't blink. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. All so, right. But like, so, so I next Monday we won't be here because it's Christmas, and um, we'll let you know for it will be around the Monday after that. But um, amazing things coming in the new year. We have uh, lots to share, so stay tuned for our um, our live. Tuesdays. Um, yes. There's a and... lot of excitement that we are working hard and planning out our calendar next year. So we have a lot of great, exciting surprises for everybody. So yes, stay connected with us on Tuesdays. Yes. And as usual, um, if you can't watch it live, uh, we will post the video on YouTube for you guys to watch it later. That's right. All right. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, you guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you.